Hi everyone, let's explore the idea of an ant being the size of a human. It sounds great for a Hollywood blockbuster, right? But in practice, it poses several physical challenges. And that's what we're going to take a look at today. Ants, like other insects, have an exoskeleton, a rigid outer structure that supports and protects their internal organs. At a small scale, this exoskeleton works very well. However, as an insect size increases, the load on the exoskeleton increases exponentially. If an ant were to reach the size of a human, its exoskeleton would need to be much thicker and more robust to support the weight of its body. This could make it too heavy and lead to being ineffective for its movement. The required muscle strength would be impossible to reach. Another problem that presents itself is that insects breathe through a system of trachea, small tubes that transport air directly to the cells. The system is efficient for small sizes, but does not work well at larger scales. The primary issue lies with the spiracles. These small holes allow air to enter an ant's body. Proportionally scaled up to a human size, they would not have enough surface area to take in enough oxygen. A giant ant would have difficulties to oxygenate all its cells effectively. Also, ants have their organs floating in their blood, called hemolymph. The system is relatively inefficient in comparison to our veins, arteries and blood pumped by our hearts. Human-sized ants would have trouble to transform oxygen into energy. A human-sized ant would need an enormous amount of food to maintain its metabolism. Finding and consuming enough food could be a major challenge. Here are some numbers. Humans require an average of 2,250 calories per day. In contrast, Ants need just 0.015 calories a day. Considering the ratio between size and calorie consumption, a human-sized ant would need approximately 210,000 calories daily. This is about a thousand times higher than the caloric needs of humans. Meaning that even if human-sized ants were able to carry their own weight, they would definitely struggle to find enough food. These calculations are a rough estimation. They don't take into consideration biological factors such as winter sleep, body temperature or other biological factors. Let's keep going with this hypothesis. Placing ants at the size of humans, their ecological footprint would probably significantly increase. Let's get imaginative. Picture a mature utter nest that can strip a tree of its leaves within 24 hours. Already an unbelievable pace. Now imagine those ants were the size of humans. They could likely strip a thousand trees or more in the same time frame. Now try to picture an area the size of the Central Park in New York being stripped of its foliage and all that in less than a month. Keep in mind though, it's possible following such a significant size increase, they would probably have evolved to seek different food sources altogether. Imagine, the metropolises would be gigantic. Almost all their anthills would be as tall as Manhattan skyscrapers. Again, this assumes ants go from small to big instantly but that's impossible. If ants evolved to be that size, they would need fewer individuals and therefore relatively smaller structures. So, while the idea of a giant ant may be fun to imagine, biological reality makes it highly improbable and practically impossible. There's a good reason why evolution led them to the path of miniaturization. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more cool discoveries. And we'll see you on the next one.